Welcome back to Adam's DIY Universe. And as you can see, we're back at the spa pool again. We've had a few spas and it's nice and comfortable there, but we thought we could improve on the privacy a little bit. And I gave myself a little project during lockdown, which was to create a little extension of the fence with a little bit of horizontal trellising that would go with the rest of the fencing there using materials from around the house that I had gathered so at no cost and you can see up the top there that that top thick piece of wood that is actually um, a piece of the side of a door, a door frame. <laughs> so you can see there, might get a better idea that that's the side side of a door. So basically I've, I've taken that apart uh, from a project we worked on and stored it away there and that's being used to run along the top there. The green horizontal slats are a piece of an old farm gate, uh, pieces of an old farm gate that uh, was washed up on the side of the road after a flood. And so I um, pulled it all apart and cut all the pieces in half and spaced them out nicely and now I am just putting it all together and I will show you when it's finished. So just taking it back a step, the reason that I chose this door frame as the capping for the fence is basically this thickness is the same thickness as the surrounding area fence capping. So, as you can see along here, a little bit of work to do fixing that up, but that thickness is, is the same as, as this one down there. So I found enough length of door frame here to run along this fence line. Also, um, I've, this little area was indented here, so this is hidden under underneath or to the back end of the fence. Um, the horizontal um, trellising is basically a long lengths of wood here from a farm fence and I cut those in half to match a similar thick thickness to the fences around the outside of this area and so if we zoom out I've now got this in place you can see that kind of matches up fairly well again this didn't cost anything apart from time and uh, endless amounts of screws and, and green and white paint <laughs> So that's the material there. And um, obviously when you don't have the exact right things, you have to do a lot of fixing up and patching and things like that. Painting, um, and at the moment I'm just going around and sanding and um, about to fill a few areas. And then I'll have one final paint and then we'll step back and have a look at it. Just to give you a little bit more information about how I did the fence extension at the top. Basically here's the existing fence, here's this, the fence that goes off at the side, in the front here sits the spa pool. Now what I did was extended the posts, one, two, three places there, then I built the horizontal trellising in the shed separately 
and that sat down on top of the top rail of the fence on each side of the central post. And then on top of that sat the door frame, uh, thick door frame wood, which came in three pieces, and that was screwed down on top of the post extensions and then also screwed through each of the posts on the trellising. So that's a little bit more information about how I put it together. So after a little bit more filling and painting, the extension to the top of the fence is finished and there's a little bit more privacy for the spa. Once again, this didn't cost anything but a few screws and a bit of patience and hard work. If you found this video helpful, please press like and subscribe to follow along for more tips and tricks around the house, garage and garden. Thanks for watching.